what is up everybody um quick energy update so like 15 days ago or so was that crazy ass super blood moon in scorpio right super friggin intense uh it was lunar eclipse as well right well we're at the new moon energy right at the midpoint and then we have a super moon coming up in the end of the month so we're right in the middle so if you thought around the time of the super blood lunar eclipse scorpio moon was intense i'm sure that you'll agree with me that it's been pretty friggin weird pretty intense since then the past two weeks right because everything that's coming up or everything that came up on that moon the super scorpio moon right is been lifted up and it's been carried all the way over and it's go going to come into completion on the next super moon so we are in a cycle as i've said in past videos and it's really intense we're still in retrograde energy there's mars energy you know i let you guys know that it was going to get more intense out there in the world crazy shit happening uh it's it's just everything that's surfacing and being purged um that the world has to go through so you're focusing on yourself you're focusing on your centeredness through it you're paying attention to what's going on with you okay you're just observing what's going on in the world not really looking at it directly looking at it peripherally but staying focused on what is true and and that is your path okay so it's a time of very heightened intentions of uh victimization of very low level ego stuff um and you know poor me victimization get one over on this person before they get one over on me very kind of like a play old place ground rules type of thing right very low third dimension stuff so you may feel yourself easily slipping back into those ego filled tendencies um there's a lot of purging going on so this stuff is going to surface it's going to to be at the same alignment of what the what is surfacing within the world okay because we're we're changing individually and as a whole we're purging individually and as a whole so it's really easy to get in an argument with somebody it's really easy to to miscommunicate it's something that you really want to spend as much time as you can just being centered um don't do things if it's if you don't really have to right you kind of, you don't want to like overly extend yourself that's it at a, at this time so extend a bit come back recharge regroup recenter okay very important don't go out too long and just hang out there and then next thing you know you trip and fall so it's come back keep go out come back spend as much time as you can even if it's five minutes every couple hours just to take a few moments to yourself to center get your bearings energetically regroup your thoughts everything like that so it's also a time too of watching out for forgetting your keys losing your phone leaving your debit card in the machine stubbing your toe breaking it locking your keys in your car this energy is very electrical right so it's in the air so things can spark off really easily allergies are crazy this time of year so watch your toes watch your feet watch your fingers watch your hands don't bang your head observe okay so massive purging massive changing this is the probably the breakthrough shift of the entire year it's happening right now yeah baby timelines timelines are being 
dramatically shut down and shifted onto other directions. New timelines are opening, right? Some are shutting down. Doors are closing behind you. New doors are opening in front of you. Mirrors are being turned towards you. That's why I've been teaching a lot about observing yourself because the world, the universe, your path is showing you you. And you may not like it. And that's why you might go into poor me and victimization. And all of these lower ego things are coming up. This massive... Um, addictions are coming up big time. And be aware of energy that will try to pull you in and distract you from your course. Stay true to your course. Pay attention to your wants, needs, and desires. These aspects of your lower ego may betray you. Self-sabotage is a big one. That's what I'm getting at. To go into that negative default mode of self-soothing. Just breathe, write it out, it'll pass. This is, you know, as, as this is a time of, of addictions, emotional addictions, physical addictions, mental addictions, it's also an incredible time to break these fucking things. Overcoming. Courage. Big word for this energy update. Strength. Showing you that you can upgrade, that you can handle the job that is set out for you, that you set out for yourself. You can handle it. You can handle it. The universe is encouraging us to dig deep. We are being lovingly, forcefully encouraged to let go and to grow. To take command To clear the fear. Right? You guys are doing awesome. Let me know how you're feeling. Um, centered is the key. That's why I'm doing uh, June 5th, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Two hour live Zoom class if you're interested. $66 for two hours. If you want to be confident, if you want to learn how to stay centered, how to ground, how to uh, connect with higher self. June 5th, Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, two-hour live Zoom. It's going to be a bumpy year, you know. Phoenix rising out of the ashes, as cliche as that is to me. It's happening. When I look into the into the energy, it feels like Scorpio energy. And then I then I look at the astrology and I'm like, well, yeah, because everything that started with that super Scorpio energy, right, is carrying right over into the new moon. We're past the new moon one day. Cruising past the new moon energy. We're talking massive purgings, massive closings, massive new beginnings. Purifying through fire. And that fire is emotional and mental and, and traumas and, and judgments and massive amounts of programming is being purged. You know, I was doing the math on my last session, on my last one-on-one -on -one session quickly you know it's like this blocks cords attachments blame shame guilt thoughts feelings and emotions that don't belong to you there's trauma there's abandonment there's all that shit right that's a massive bag of shit right there that's the stuff that can be energetically cleared karma right so then there's healing right that's pretty big right Healing, you could think of it as replacing the energy that was cleared. Hence what I just said. 
That's big. Now we're going to heal. Then there's the purging of the programs. And people don't realize how big that is. And as you purge the programs, what's the next step? Mm, right? I'll get into that at other times. So the reprogramming part is huge. It's massive. So take your time to reground, take your time to center. There's people coming from every direction. Get outside. Start to start to observe yourself thinking. And start to question why are you thinking what you're thinking? Where does that come from? And start to observe what your emotions are doing when you're thinking those thoughts that you're thinking. Master teacher, channeler of healing, I can take you guys as far as you want to go. I'm here to help people heal, to help clear their energy, but most of all, to connect them to higher self and to help them master their minds, master their emotions, master their physical body, and master their lives, okay? Um, to become one with higher self, to blend the ego and the higher self as one. So wherever you are, you set out on this path. You set out to do this. You chose to do this. You couldn't wait for this. You signed up. You volunteered and you signed the fucking waiver. So stand up. Put your big girl panties on and big boy pants on. Let's do this together. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Let it be done. And so it is done.